This is Tierra Deseable Church from Bogota, Colombia. We are so happy that you're joining us through our social networks. If this is your first time with us, we want to welcome you to our online ministry. Stay connected and God bless you. Shout for joy to God, all the earth, sing the glory of His name, make His praise glorious, say to God, how awesome are your deeds, so great is your power, that your enemies cringe before you, let's sing together with powerful for our God, thank you Lord, thank you for this morning, we come before you to bless your name. Awesome.
Your plans for me are good And I know you hold my future and my hope Your promises never fail Your promises never fail Your promises never fail Your promises never fail, promises never fail. Amen, thank you my God Thank you, my Savior, for this time. We are so glad of being here, surrendering our hearts before you, and say you thank you, thank you, because you're a holy God, and you deserve all our worship. So let's sing together that we are here before God. Say just what you have in your heart praise that flows like a river washing over me fount of heaven love of Christ overflowing me thank you Set me free, Christ my Savior, you rescue me, take this life God, take this life
set me free Christ my Savior you rescue me thank you Jesus you set me that privilege too. Church, all of us, all of us can go before God and say, God, I want that you take my life. I want that you just choose me. That you take my life as a vessel where you can put your spirit, your whole spirit in it. Church, you, you, you know how good has done our God. All those things that our God has done for us, even when we don't uh, have the, the best attitude or are not the best behavior. But you know, we have our, our, our God that faith for us that God that one day went to that cross and just say I don't want my life because I want give you a new one without sin without fear without anxiety that's the life that that's the life that God allow us have thank you God for that amazing amazing gift you're awesome and our words cannot describe all all those things that we feel in that moment that we just worship your name that we surrender our hearts I know that our that my plans my dreams and my brothers and sisters dream and plans are in your hands and we don't have fear because we have your love and we already know your love and that's why we don't have fear that's our truth truth in jesus name we pray and believe amen With your tithes, offerings, and donations, you are investing in the lives of other people and families. If you want to bless the Lord's house, you can do it in one of the following ways. Bringing your tithe to the closest offering box at church. Making a deposit in one of the bank offices of Bank Colombia or Banco de Bogotá. Making an online bank transfer or using our QR code. In Tierra Deseable, love is why we give. We come to one of our favorite moments in our services, and it's the time for us to give, the time for generosity, for thanking God for everything He gives us. The passage uh, today says, Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 4, it says, Be sure you do not do good things in front of others, just to be seen by them. If you do, <clears throat> you have no reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to the poor, do not be as those who pretend to be someone they are not. 
Next uh, verse, it says, They blow a horn in the places of worship and in the streets so people may respect them. For sure, I tell you, they have all the reward they are going to get. When you give, do not let your left hand know what your right hand gives. Your giving should be in secret. Then your father who sees in secret will reward you. There are three conclusions we can draw from this passage. Number one, giving is a command. It says when you give, it assumes that we're going to give. It is a command. It doesn't say if you give, if you happen to give. Um, second, it's a good thing. It says when you do your good deeds, do not do them in front of others. It is a good deed. It's a command. It's a good action. It's a good deed. But finally, and probably for many of you, most importantly, it brings a reward. A reward of eternal satisfaction. A reward of not being slaves to money, but especially a reward of knowing that we're doing the will of God, that from the many blessings he gives us, we are giving back to him so that we also bless others. Let's participate uh, with our tithes and offerings, and let's pray. Father, we thank you because you have given us everything we need. We are complete in Christ. We have more than we need, Father, but we also want to learn to be generous. Teach us, Lord, and guide us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Good morning, dear church. Welcome to this um, a new a message we're going to have today. And well, I hope you are doing all right, that you and your beloved ones are okay. And I hope that uh, this message is um, it's a blessing for you. So let's start by praising. So God is the one who leads this uh, preach today. All righty. Let's close our eyes and let's begin. So, my dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful morning. Anyways, it's really chilly. We appreciate everything you do for us, that you give uh, to us. Thanks a lot. My dear Lord, we give this preach on your hands. Please help me to be used by you, God, that my words are your words, my Lord. Please open your people's, your people's hearts, your people's heart, and let us be open to your message. And mostly that what it is said here, please help us to do it in our daily basis and personal lives in jesus name amen okay so um i like to start by showing this picture all righty and maybe m most of you are familiar with this because well most of us we use uh the public transportation and i want to see this picture and i'll analyze it a little bit which is uh you're in well there are a lot of people and in the um, in this mean of transportation but in um every day i mean every day we usually see a uh, we usually see um street vendors and this is kind of, let's say, that we are used to seeing this uh, because, uh, I mean, that's something that is on our part of our routine. So um, street vendors go inside, go outside the transmillennial, and it's just like something common we see. And 
and um and now that is so frequently not only um our i mean colombian um but also all from other nationalities they are in this mean of transportation and now we are often to see this that uh, often to see this that we give them the cold uh, shoulder and we are like okay again sometimes maybe probably probably i hope you 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 have this experience and sometimes has happened to me as well like you are tired you are stressed because of work because of many things you have in your mind and these people come selling or there are even some people who are singing the whole uh, way you go to to work or coming back home and you're kind of stressed and in the end you you don't really think what um this person is going through and actually i want to share also something that happened to to my husband and i when we went to Santa Marta a couple of months ago that um, we were eating at some place and um, a, 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 a lady came to us asking for money and well we didn't actually give her some money but because this lady was kind of um, lost she looked uh, lost and she actually looked like she didn't know uh, where she was and we actually didn't help her at that moment but then I was like something in my heart and my husband's heart too that we decided to follow her and well she she seemed to, to be sick or had like a, any kind of illness so she needed help we called the police we tried to help her but the police was really like let's say didn't care they didn't care and they didn't want her to to be saved or like help her and we were kind of disappointed in the end of the story so to make it shorter and uh, well sh we and uh, well uh, some other people and and us give uh, give some money um to um tax drivers so um this person could uh, take her to uh, her home but well summarizing what i said based on the transmillennial and this story that i just said um i i want to let you know that sometimes um, we do not really remember what god uh what god commands us so that's why uh, i want to read and actually like those things or those thoughts came to my mind and i my 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 lord gave me this message that i wanna i wanna read this is in john uh, 13 uh, verses 34 35 that says a new command i give you love one another as i have loved you so you must love one another by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another And you say, well, but what's today's title? What's today's um, purpose on this? Well, um, based on the stories that are connected uh, to this, um, this message, I decided to call today's message Rise to the Challenge. Well, um, God has told us to do several things, like let's say the main principles to follow um, a Christianity life, but it's not easy at all. It's not easy, and I, I consider it's a challenge. And that's what we're going to like to talk today. We're going to uh, remind what what we should do, or what we must, that's a must for being a, a, a Christian. And, um, I, I like you like to keep in mind this this title because in the end I want to ask you a question. So um, it's it's of course it's not easy whatsoever to help our brothers or sisters in need. But I like you to 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 focus on on Jesus' words and in this passage of John and. To understand more this, I like you to give a context. Um, and this is when 
um, Jesus was getting closer to the cross um, and uh, he was sharing his last meal with um, his disciples so um, because Judas was close to betray uh, Jesus and he was of course a nervous but he was, I mean, Jesus was really brave. And this, what I read before, was said um, to, the, to the disciples, was said um, to the disciples, and Jesus intended to tell their disciples implicitly what was about to happen, which was to give his life for saving us of our sins and you know that's the biggest uh, act of love that he could do and no one else uh, can do and that's why I like to read one more time the the passage which is again John 13 a uh, verses 34-35 it says a new command I give you so when he says a new command I give you, it's because it's an order. It's something that it's not a suggestion. It's not like, okay, ah, if you want to do it, well, no, that's something that we have to, we ought to do. And then I'm going to continue reading. It says, love one another as I have loved you. As I told you in the context that uh, Jesus uh, was saying this, it was going to the cross so that's the biggest act of love as i said before and i mean that's what god wants us to do like to devote our lives and do our best for our brothers and sisters um you know so, um in uh, let's say in this life our parents uh we have, well, they have um, sometimes one child, two children. And what parents want us is that we love each other, we help each other. So that's what the Lord wants us to do as well, that we we love between us. Like, and that also God in Christ longs to see his own children, one another with the love that is rooted on the cross so that's what the lord wants us to see as as well let's continue reading it says so you must love one another and when it says must it's it's no it's not as i said before it's not something that uh, well it's an option but it's something we we have to and this is how we know what love is it's to give our lives for the other. It's to um, it's to um, lay lay down uh, our lives for our brothers and sisters, and that's why it's, uh, I mean this is a rise to the challenge because it's not easy at all. But you know we need to remind uh, or we need to uh, ask the Lord remind us. The love, I mean, what he did for love for, uh, for us. So um, that's what this part wants us to see. And um, um, in, in, uh, and also, uh, it, um, this verse uh, finishes with this in, in verse 35 that says, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you love one another, okay. Uh, so we don't need to actually like um, help our brothers or sisters so that everyone see sees. Oh, that's a really good person. Wow, he he or she has a really good heart. This is not for showing off. This is just for what first got. Um, ask us to do and second because uh, we need to show that uh, God's grace is on us that uh, the same way he had mercy we need to have that the same mercy as he used to uh, he, as he has excuse me um, we need to do it or express it with our brothers and sisters so I, I like to I like to connect these and 
uh, with the next birth that is going to um, to be here that it's in James 2 verses 15 and 16 and says suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and you say goodbye and have a good day it's stay warm and eat well but then you don't give that person any food or clothing what good does do and um, does that do so this is like a, a great example of what we need to do of course sometimes as the simple example in the beginning when we were uh, or when we are in trust millennial we see too many people of course we, we cannot give to everybody but god knows our heart and our thoughts and it's not only money but it's for instance yesterday um a man was asking for money and that's what God is so wonderful that remind me this message and well if we were um, my husband and I were in, uh, in Transmillennia and a person came and asked him for for money but then a man um, said well I don't ha I, well man said I I didn't have money but um, I have this uh, and it was like something like the remains of his lunch or something like that and he accepted with joy and that's what i said that is not about money but it's also i mean with a good heart what you, i can do for my brother or sister well maybe i don't have money today but i can give some money i don't know a piece of fruit or something that i can give to this um needy brother or a uh, probably um well i can i don't have money i don't have mo i don't have food but i can help a uh, i help my uh, can I, I help my i can help excuse me my brother and sister um, with what i know for instance i'm a teacher how can i help um a person being a teacher and or any other occupation you you and um, brothers and sisters have um we can also have a prayer list and sometimes as it says in the verse it says okay hi lord help him please and that's it right but what we can do is maybe have this prayer list and help for the ones that need it the most and uh, ask uh, this light um, that ask Jesus to to guide them and the Holy Spirit to to guide them to the Lord's path. And it's not only about money, it's not only about food, but it's our intentions, our heart. So we get we are getting used to, a, having a stone heart because we usually see the same situation but today i want to invite you to have a humble heart a giving heart not like okay i see it every day but to pray for each person that you see in need and that's why i want to finish with this question which is are you willing to rise to the challenge of course, it's not easy because our brothers and sisters also, eh, not only in, in, in our family, in, in the church, but also we need to help even people who don't really know God and Jesus and um, even bless our enemies. That's what the, the Lord's word says. And it's not easy. But we need to pray to God that he needs to do uh, or he needs to work on us. And I want you to close your eyes and finish this preach by praying to the Lord for helping us to, to accept this challenge. All right. So let's close our eyes. Lord, thank you for this mes message because I know that you have spoken to us it i you lord you know that sometimes we we cannot give money to everyone 
but you know our hearts. And please put that humble heart and giving heart so we can help all the brothers and sisters that are in need. Oh, please help us see our brothers and sisters the way you see us. Please, my dear Lord, even we don't have money, but please guide us. Let the spirit of you guide us on how we can help each person in need. Dear Lord, it's not easy. Sometimes we have bad days. We don't want to do anything. Or sometimes people do not do, do not pay the way we, we behave with them. They don't pay well the way we behave with, with them. But please, anyways, let us understand that and everyone has a, a different life, different difficulty. And sometimes that's the, the reason behind they behave the way. And we don't really know each person's background. But you know, my dear Lord, so please put us in our heart to help people with, uh, with kindness. And let us be selfless and do our best for your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you very much for seeing uh, this message and God bless you. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you for being with us today. It's been a blessing for us, and we hope it's been a blessing for you, too. Just before you leave, let us know here in the chat box below how you are, what God is doing in your life through this ministry, and especially how we can pray for you. We want to stay connected to you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell button to get notifications every time we upload new content, new material to help you in your walk with Jesus. Thank you for being part of this Tierra Deseable family and uh, we'll see you next Sunday.